How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? Hmm. Let me take a look. Handmade, I'd be guessing. Gold. From the Great War, thereabouts. That there mosaic is the Christ Pentocrator from Aya Sophia, Byzantium. I'll get on at finding out about its where froms, but I can say right off it's a good piece. 600, right? Not liable to miss it, hmm? Suit yourself. Here's the cash. Pleasure doing business with you. Till next time, then, sister. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today?
Back in town, huh? That slime sucking hunk of ironhide. Working for Armadier. Well, if he's in on this, we've got ourselves a triple-A titanium problem. Man's a machine, and I mean for real. And I might get a better chance to take him down than this. Okay. Things just got serious. If you want to back out, we're cool, okay? Could say that. We used to be partners. Damn, good team. But he took it personal. The bad guys were even better. Those cops don't get the implants and firepower we need on the streets. And nothing got Connor more pissed than being outgunned. So, he went solo. Had augments done out of his paycheck. The thing turned into a thing. Leveling up till there was barely a human left in him. It's the human that knows when you're doing wrong. Soon he was out selling his gung-ho to whoever had the cash. The PD don't smile on moonlighting, especially not mercenary work. Lost his badge, and with it his last drop of sense. Damn well became what we used to be fighting, but I still am. Only one of the 
biggest private security corporations in the world. Got clients all over, protecting uranium mines, embassies, VIPs, hell, even a dictator in one country and revolutionaries in the next. Army gear does more than just protect it. Hits, cleanouts, infiltrations. They even have a research division, weapons manufacture, a bona fide apocalypse incorporated. Well, I'm guessing she hired the slicers to protect her from armor gear. Would explain why they're upping their hardware. But she's some new kind of dumb if she thinks the slicers will hold off Cotter. If he's involved with the slicers, against them as it looks, then this is my shot at finally busting his ass. It's been a long, long while. And planning, too. Ideas how to level the playing field if it comes to knuckles and guns. But I can still use a hand. What can we offer a unit? Well, Connor's all about his augmentations. I did some research, and I reckon we can disable or screw with them. At least his demolition arm and the combat drug he's hooked on. That one's old. The first implant he ever got. It snapped a few necks, and it's time, I can tell you. Sure as hell, you don't want to be on the receiving end of its fist, either. I only know the model's name, Sensor Tech 3DS 1200. If you find someone specialized in implants and hardware, maybe they could tell you how to disable the damn thing. Well, it's Interzy. Powerful pain override with a quick heal stimulant. I know there's counter drug, but it's real tough to find. Maybe if you've got some backstreet connections. your taste. That's some higher grade material you're asking for, me lady. I don't have counter endazine, but I'm fully stocked with endazine. Just you gotta stay wired. 300 for your pleasure. How's that sound? A pleasure doing business with you, ma'am.
Tech 3DS 1200, huh? Yeah, they sure don't make these anymore. Good solid build, though. Look, I, I won't even ask why you're messing with one of those. Yeah, uh, I'm afraid I don't know much about those. Uh, let me check. Maybe I have an old brochure somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Take a look. Uh, it should show you the space. You can see the frequency it operates at. That'll help if you've got a powerful radio transmitter nearby. Set it to that frequency and it'll overload the arm, just as long as it's within a decent range. inside again. Get us in mm. You're sure hankering for the right kind of hanky, sweetie. You have 80 for me? Do you, honey? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Follow me, sweetie. Let's go to my place. That weren't your first time, honey. <laughs> my nobly still ain't been shaking. Showdown, not more prepping to do. Great. As long as there's some sort of radio transmitter around when you encounter him, you'll be able to use that frequency to overload his arm. Nice work, kid. You have one shot at this. Shoot him with a dart. It should neutralize the effects of his endozine in a few seconds. Good. Let's hope you're right, kid. The safest will be if you go back to the industrial zone. If Connor is coming for this Lydia, he's going to need to come up against the slicers at some point. If you do meet him, try to neutralize him just enough for the arrest. There's a thing or two I want to say to him face to face. But he sure as hell won't be holding off the trigger, so just do what you got to do.
don't know who you are, but this is where you keep walking, lady. Navarro, huh? If I'd known he was gonna send girl meat to his gunfights, I'd put a slug in his skull on his belly. Pity he had to get involved in this kid. Seems he didn't get my last message. And I have to send him another. job. Look at me. I'm too old for this game. You can see I was ready to quit. I'm telling you the truth here. Just, just let me go. And I'll disappear. You'll never see me in this city again. I'll even transfer you some cash. I'll throw in an implant, a transplant. Come on! Come on, what do you care? Appealing to my survival instincts, huh? Be smart. Need more people like you in the force. You've got a future, kid. You can earn a pretty penny. All right, take me in. Get this over with. Now, that's some takedown, lady. I never thought I'd see the day. This will make a difference. Young blood in the force. We'll give him a real kick. Always bitching about being outgunned by augments. You've proven a lot of people wrong, lady. <laughs> no one more than Connor. You sure took some risks. Here's that piece I promised you. And we had to remove another one of Connor's implants. A dead shot. Even unarmed, he was dangerous with that thing plugged into his brain. You can have it. But my thanks. Hey there. I had a real long sit down with Connor. You sure broke him, all right. Sniveling like a kid come home for his tag. But he's got plenty to pay for. What's up? 